Hi everyone, today I'm going to quickly show you how you can take advantage of the joystick pre-configuration files in Xplane 11, starting with 11.10 and now 11.20. You can upload a joystick configuration file to make the setup of your joystick axis much easier. We have published currently the file on our website. If you navigate to our website, and then you select support, you should see a menu downloads. If you hit that, it will take you to the download page where you would usually see our flight manuals. If you scroll down, either with your mouse or with the side path, you can find Xplane 11 joystick pre-configuration file 4.3. Click that link and either save the file or open it, that's up to you. Now, if you want to scan it first with your antivirus and then um, you can say open the file you should see six files in total this here is actually the joystick configuration file you can open it and learn from it if you want to learn a bit more the other ones are pretty much just the pictures so you can select all six files right click copy then to navigate to your Xplane folder, the easiest way is you go to your Xplane shortcut, desktop shortcut, and then right click and select open file location. It will take you straight to your installation folder for Xplane 11. If you select the resource and joystick configuration files, you can then right click and paste. In my case, it says replace or skip because all the files were there already. So I'm gonna close that. In your case, there will not be any file in there, so it shouldn't say anything unless you have a previous version of the joystick configuration file. You should then see the file itself, plus a couple pictures. And go ahead here and filter to show you what picture you'll have. That'll be basically the button layout picture with the button and the zone switch up and down to make it really clear what you're doing plus the main axis overview picture so now if i go ahead and launch explain sorry explain is already running and i don't want to do the updates here if i go in the settings i can select the device Profile Trainer, and then I would see all the views. The main view is just the axis view where you can see what axis is doing what, and it's labeled and it's already assigned uh, to how it should be. This is the collective. If you navigate over it, you see the number three. You see the number three here. You can also go down, back down here. You can still change it to another assignment if you want, but the pre configuration file that has been loaded now recognizing the ProFly Trainers plugged in would be collective on collective, trouble on trouble, etc. etc. So you have all five main axes here on that picture. We have included a two brake modification already because that's our upcoming feature and you want to be ready for that. More uh, is going to come on our website soon about that. And you see all the buttons. Let's say for example I have the zone switch button on the right side here in the middle. And then I'm going to press the front trigger. This is going to be trigger number one. So I'm going to see the number one here. I'm going to see what's assigned and I'm going to see what group, what zone I'm in. If I keep that button pressed and I move the zone switch to up, then it will automatically swap to the number 21 as it should be on the zone up. And then you can, you can also see it from the picture then it automatically went to the zone up setting. And the same if I go down with the switch, it will do the same. So basically, this is how you can quickly navigate to button assignment. And if you're confused, and it does the same for the head switch. So you can press head switch button and you see which mode you're on. If it's the head switch uh, without any zone, then it recognizes it as such. And if I go up like this in the zone up mode, then it will recognize that that's the second head switch. And of course, the 
third head switch will be with the zone down button. So overall, very helpful. By the way, if you um, if you change if you move axis while you're on any um, view, it will automatically jump back to the view that has the axis. Very nice. Now, if you are um, on Cockpit Builder or something like that, you might have used an add um, special axis or buttons to our USB PCB. So what you want to do in that case is learn how to use uh, the ProFlight Trainer joystick file, preset file for X-Plane. And if you scroll down within that file, if you scroll all the way down, you'll find the axes that have been pre-assigned and you'll find the ones that are not used and they are hidden for the purpose of uh, avoiding empty axes showing up during uh, X-Plane calibration purpose, uh, calibration procedure or thing like that. So just uh, remove the hidden here and you will see the axis. Same for the button 9 and 10 that most users don't uh, have activated. If you have made a modification and added such a button, you can remove the hidden here and they'll show up. All right, I believe that's everything. Uh, as always, I'm trying to do the best to make your life easy. And I believe this is a good step forward to make configuration and access assignment much easier with the Puma and the Fox and ProFlight Trainer products. Have fun and happy landings.